Welcome back. It's still Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. Now, Amben says as an association, it's not a regulator and has no intention of usurping such powers. However, the SME side of the industry, which includes the agent, often bears the cost of operations, including the standard rates set by the CBN, even though they are registered under a provider, sometimes at a fee. It says the recent action in direct response to the current economic realities in the country aims to ensure that agents can continue to stay in business. Right now, I have the Lagos State Chairman of the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, David Abiodun, joining me right now to discuss further. Many thanks for joining us on Business Insights and Plus TV Africa, Mr. Abiodun. Thank you very much for having me. All right, it is indeed a pleasure. Let's get right into it. Uh, there seems to be a bit of uh, anxiety uh, between uh, operators, uh, Amben, and of course, uh, even uh, people who subscribe to your services. Tell us what is really going on. Uh, uh, just last week, uh, there were reports that um, Amben had increased uh, tariffs in some states, including Lagos, and that uh, just uh, on Wednesday, the FCC PC came out with, this, with a statement saying that it will prosecute any POS agent who goes about increasing the tariff. What's the situation as we speak? We have no intention to usurp the powers of the CBN as well as the providers. The, pi the prices for uh, POS transactions are fixed. But as we all know, doing business in Nigeria and Lagos State in particular uh, requires a lot of, if I may put it, sacrifice. But there's a limit to the sacrifice you can, you know, absorb. And so, at our last symposium, that was on June 22nd, before then we have met and we have looked at, looked at the cost of doing business. And we have Look, that did that. If we don't do something about the costs to service, definitely we, we, we cannot remain in business. It's not possible. And as I speak with you, many of our uh, members, about 70% to be conservative, have closed shop. How do you cope? You have to buy data, you have to buy fuel. You have to pay staff. You have to transport yourself to the place, I mean, to your shop, your outlet. You have to obtain loan and pay at, a, at exorbitant interest rates. How do you cope? So it is in response to this that we felt there's need for us to adjust the, the prices at which we do business. That is number one. Number two, we, it was not just the price that, uh, that uh, we decided on at our symposium. We, we have looked at the financial inclusion industry very deeply and we have observed some challenges, part of which include um, so many undesirable elements have come into the business and that has been giving us uh, serious concern. And so we felt there's need for us to arrest that also. So what we have done is to, you know, provide a means of identification. And so we, 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 we produce, you know, uh, a banner. And on that banner, we put the price. And so we launch both the banner as well as the, 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 the prizes the adjusted prices for our service or services on that June 22nd. We did that so that the public can have some, you know, measure of, uh, of respite, measure of uh, security, measure of confidence while patronizing POS operators. We have received a series of complaints, you know, from the public. Uh, and most of the times, some of these complaints are uh, uh, majorly, you know, from people who don't have any, any means of identification. They just come into the business, and um, on that note, we decided that, okay, 
one of the ways we can arrest that is to have a means of identification. So, okay, fine. Let me just butt in here. I understand the fact that uh, there is need to ensure control and um, a bit of sanity on how your um, uh, members of your association operate. We'll get into that. We'll get about. We'll get into the complexities of our operations of a um, mobile agent and um, bank agent. Okay. The question right now would be: uh, Is there any form of uniformity across uh, board for members of? Amban here in Lagos because some operators charge as much as um, 100 naira for transactions and not above 500 then while others charge as much as um, 200 naira. What is the reality of things as we speak right now? Is there a price increment officially by Amban Lagos? Thank you very much. Once again, I'm happy to be here to put the record straight. Yes, everything we are doing is still at the level of sensitization. As we speak today, there is no where you will go. And um, PS operators will tell you, oh, Amban has increased their prices, and so this is the amount you should, uh, you should collect. No. What we have done is to sensitize our members. We are still going to uh, organize a task force so that the system that we are trying to put in place is not abused. If we don't do that, definitely people will abuse it. L let me just quickly say this. Um, as a member of uh, FISCO, that is Financial Inclusion State Steering Committee uh, with CBN, we, we've had opportunity to meet with the uh, CBN Lagos State Branch uh, on many occasions. And um, uh, we've been confronted with this you know, allegation that our members are charging the public you know, exorbitantly. Uh, we try to, you know, uh, we try to deny this, but it, it, that that was why we decided that okay, what we are going to do is let's have a, a, a uniform price. Not only that, let's have a means of identification, and then not only that, we also have uh, uh, a task force that will help us to you know monitor the system so that there will be no abuse. When we are done. We will now report back to CBN that, yes, this is what we have done. But as I speak with you, it is true we have pushed out information about new prices. But because we don't want it to be abused, it is not yet uh, uh, enforced, you can, if I can put it that way. It's not yet enforced. So do you have plans to enforce new prices? Cert so? Certainly. Certainly. I've told you that. Because without that, we cannot remain in business. And... Um, I'm, I'm really surprised because I'd expected the regulator, uh, regulatory authorities to invite Amban and find out what are you doing. During COVID-19, uh, let me just digress a little. During COVID-19, you will agree with me that the PS operators saved the day. Without the PS operators, it would have been practically difficult for Nigerians to survive. I mean, when it comes to uh, the financial uh, transactions. Because you couldn't assess the banks because of the, the, the restrictions in force due to COVID-19. And after that, just recently during the cashless policy, you will agree with me also that Amban played major role. How did they play major role? Very good. As because, I said, uh, because, because the truth is that most people were complaining that um, POS agents were actually making uh, millions, as it were, because uh, they were charging people you know, through their noses. Thank you very much. I make bold to say that those who have been that are not AMBAR members. We have been to CBN. Like I said earlier, this allegation was put before us, and we told the branch controller they are not our member. There's, there's a difference. It's not everybody that, uh, that are carrying POS about that are members because, of our Because that's how it looks. It looks as if it's like yeah, that, an that, all-commerce that, affair. That because exactly. almost every street you go, you see people with umbrellas, kiosk, parading themselves as um, registered agents. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Johnston. That is the reason why we are coming up with a means of identification. You, you, you should be able to identify yourself. Mm. And one of, the means of, uh, one of the ways to do that is to join Amban. And when you join Amban, we give you an ID card, we give you a certificate, and then we give you the banner. The banner is expected to be hosted conspicuously in your outlet. Mm. So that when people get there, they want to know, okay, 
you belong to an association. They, they also want to find out okay. what is the what is the the, the, the pedigree, what, what is the, the what's the quality, you know, who are the people behind the association? And that's why we have our website, you can read whatever you want to read about us there. So we are doing all these things in the best interest of the public. Security wise, and then to also remain in business. I think we should not forget that fact. Uh, it's still Business Insight on Plus TV Africa. We'll take a quick break. I will still have uh, David Abiodun, Lagos State Chairman of Amban. We're looking at the issue of uh, POS and transactions and operations, and of course, uh, the much talk about and tariff increment. In a moment, we'll be right back. Uh, do join us again. All right, welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. We're looking at the financial inclusion drive of the federal government, the operations of our point of sale terminals um, agents, of course, mobile money um, uh, agents as well. And of course, the recent talk of our tariff increment, uh, how to ensure sanity in Lagos State and beyond. And there have been discussions with the Lagos State uh, Chairman of Amban, uh, Pastor uh, David Abiodo. Uh, thanks for staying with us, uh, uh, Mr. Abiodo. So the question right now would be, what is the rate as we speak? So if um, your customers are going to your kiosk, to your stand, what should they be expecting? What are they expected to pay so they don't get, uh, you know, um, manipulated or somehow, you know, hijacked um, by these um, operators? What should they be expecting? What are the official rates as we speak? Thank you very much. Yes, um, I'll go straight to the transaction uh, types and then rates. Yeah, very quickly, please. We have for the withdrawal from 1,000 to 2,004, we have you pay 100 naira. And then from 3,005 to 4,000, you pay 200. So that means it has and been increased. That is where we are going. But as we, as we speak today, from 1,000 to 5,000, you still pay 100 naira. Okay, I just want to be clear what yes. is, what yes. stands right from 5,000, from 5,000 to 10,000, you still pay 200 naira. Okay. But as you can, as we all know, these uh, rates are not sustainable. We can't remain in business with this. We have established that. I just want to understand what okay. is right now, so yes, over time yes. you can know what you are going yes, to. Yes, that, that's what I've just said. Yes, yes. So, to, uh, for, for, so above, above 5,000 and 10,000 is um, 200 naira. 200 naira. Okay. And then from 10,000 uh, 10, to 15,000, you pay 300. And then from there, from 15 to 20, to 20 you pay 400. And uh, some even pay uh, you know, less than that. Some pay it's negotiable. It's sometimes. negotiable. But I need to also say this, that what we have done yes. is like a ceiling. Okay. That you are not expected, no, no uh, POS operator is expected to go above above that. Above that. Mm. So even with, the, even with the recent, I mean, the, 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 uh, the, the adjusted, adjusted rates, yes. that's where we are going, that you will not be permitted to go above that. Like, during the cashless policy, you will agree with me, we have sort of, of terrible people information. People are just doing anything yes. arbitrarily. They say the, um, 10,000, so people charge as much as 2,000, 2,000, 2, yes. 3,000, and 10,000. So we want to prevent that. Okay, now, but the question right now would be, like I said before, I took that break. Nigerians are actually filling the bronze, uh, the fuel subsidy removal. Yes. Everything has skyrocketed. Yes. Prices of um, commodities in the open market. But shouldn't there be a sort of alternative, maybe in your meetings uh, at your Cisco level, uh, with the, at the CBN level, so that the, the cost implication on you as regards the charges you pay can actually be reduced as opposed to increasing or dumping it, as it were, on consumers? Definitely, there should be. But I need to say this. It's not just the POS uh, charges that we should be complaining about. I think I'm happy that the uh, FC... CPC. CPC. Yes, I'm happy that they, uh, they have come up you know, to challenge uh, what we are trying to uh, uh, push to the public. But I will expect them to touch other areas. Sir, you will agree with me. What areas should they touch? Every other, every other sector. The barbers have increased. Mm. The vulcanizers, they have, they have, uh, vulcanizers they have, re, they have increased. The, what are you going to buy now? Everything has gone up. 
before I could move from where I was to this place, now I, know, I know how much I pay. And so, it's not just the PS issue. I think it should be holistic. Okay, so, so, them so, go so, so the issue right now, is it like POS um, operators, they, they pay more now to be able to access cash from the banks for operation? Definitely, or definitely. In what sense? Very good. If you, if you are to, uh, if you are, if you are to spend, let's say, 100,000 Naira in a day, you may have to visit the bank like two or three times. If you have more customers, and you are, let's say, you have to pay out about 500,000. You may have to visit the bank three times a day. Most of the Consider time, the, the argument right now, because I had to speak at your let national me, let level. Let me finish. Let me, uh, no, you will okay. speak. Okay. I have to speak at your national level. They said that most of the time, sir, it is for people maybe who are a bit far from where the banks are localized that may be expected to, you know, have some sort of complaint as regards of uh, maybe paying transportation to get to the bank to withdraw. But uh, otherwise, people who stay close or agent who stay around the bank, do they have or incur any extra cost? Thank you very much. Transportation is just one component. How about the cost of others, like the data, like... Um, you as want data to... charges increased. Everything, everything has increased. The, the, the loan, I told you that we obtain loan. I want to pay back with interest. The, the, the fuel you buy to power your generator to charge your terminals, has it not increased? Which, which one has not increased? So if government or the regulatory authorities want to arrest the situation, it should be holistic. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, they, just like you have asked, yes, there can be direct palliative. They can be direct palliative to PS agents. Like one of our um, national officers said, most of the providers, they get grants, mm. both locally and internationally. So they can ab absorb all the costs. Okay. Even, even for, for 10 years, they have no problem. But for an average PS agent who goes about doing his business on a daily basis, mm. It's not easy there. Okay, so as we as it's we begin not easy to, out there. As we begin to round off right now, I'm sure you've been having stakeholders meeting uh, on the national level because uh, I understand initially when this um, uh, talk of an increase or tariff increase, uh, uh, you know, came on board was just about Lagos, a those state, on one other state. So what's the situation at the national level? Are there are you? Um, organizing yourselves uh, as stakeholders uh, to have meetings to forge ahead since uh, the release issued by the FCCPC. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, yeah. very definite. Very definitely. We've had, uh, we've had meetings, uh, you know, over and over. We've tried to look at the situation and um, we are responding and we will still continue to respond. What has happened in the few states you have just mentioned it's meant to take place throughout the entire country. Like mm. I said earlier, Amban is a national mm. uh, association. And so every state uh, uh, are meeting with the stakeholders, the members, and everybody will be coming up you know, with their position uh, anywhere from now. Because what is happening is affecting everybody. All right. And so uh, what we have done is in response to the reality of doing business in Nigeria and in Lagos in particular. Right. And so the government, they should, they, should, they, should, they should invite us. Let's discuss. That's very important. Let's discuss. We'll tell them why we are coming up with this idea. And um, if there's something they can do, like I've said, if they want to you know, do a, a direct palliative uh, for us, why not? We can decide not to even collect a dime on right. transaction. Okay, so, so as we round up now, just to be clear, so right now uh, you are maintaining status quo? Of course. Okay, uh, just to be clear. So I have been speaking now with the Lagos State uh, Chairman of uh, the Association of uh, Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, uh, Pastor David Abiyode. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Thank you very much. All right, uh, just before we go, Go Small Digitization is a panacea to a financial service security and other bottlenecks. It is an innovation by fintechs to ensure privacy as well as solve the dual challenge of protection and security. I will leave you with details of that report. I am Justin Akadonia. See you again next time. Bye for now.